In this video, I am going to share with you a secret adjustment out of the 335 wide that is going to absolutely help you immensely when defending trips tight end. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is simply about becoming a better Madden player. I'm trying to get better at this game every single day through defensive tips and offensive tips, and I'm trying to help you guys along the way, sharing with you what I've learned along the way. So if you want to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Now, what subscribing means is basically a free way to let me know that you are enjoying the content obviously hit the like button if you wouldn't mind but subscribing allows you to know whenever we release a new video so whenever some of these tip videos come out if you're missing videos it's because you're not subscribed so anyways um let's talk a little bit about trip side in and i want to talk specifically about an adjustment that you can make that is going to help you a ton with trips tied in whenever they motion all right so um for example defending trips tied in as a trips formation is completely different to defending it as a doubles formation. What I, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, real quick, let me show you my coaching adjustments. You're going to see here we have man align on. We talked about that before. Um, shout out to Zan for finding that. Um, great tip by him. Uh, and then Balanair defense to play ball. And then as you see here, everything is on default pretty much with the exception of the option defense. Now, uh, we like to audible into cover four draw or cover four show two. Right there, cover four show two. I'm gonna audible into that from the play from the cover four drop out of three three five normal. Okay. And that's gonna help me get better personnel on the field. So this is the base look right here, as you see. Okay. And we're typically gonna shift the line this direction and user right in here. This is gonna help a lot with inside zone or any of the runs from trips tight end. Okay, so now what I want to talk about is when I say it's, when I say it's completely different to defending trips tight end when they run it as trips versus when they run it as doubles, here's what I mean. So when they motion a receiver over, you're going to notice that this turns this offense into a two-by-two two set or a very similar look to gun doubles, okay, depending on who they motion over. Like if they motion over Lazard, it literally almost looks like exactly like doubles, right you have a slot you have an outside guy and then you have your tight end your running back on the same side okay so that's what i mean when i say that so today's video is focusing in on helping you deal with it when people motion on you they're going to motion on you from trips tight end it is i think if i was a trip i've actually written an ebook on trips tight end this year if i was running trips tight end i would much rather play as a doubles than as a trips the motion is to me, my preferred way to play out of this. So, anyways, all that to say, this is this is how you deal with it. So, um, I like cover four quarters, and my first adjustment when I get to the line of scrimmage after I press coverage and shift my D line and set them up the way I want to is I always always shade coverage inside and over top, inside and over top. That's going to create a very nice look for your zones. They're not going to press. They're not, they're not going to get burned over the top when you shade over top, okay? Now, what we're going to then do is we're going to create essentially a um, almost like a cover three, cover four match style defense. So um, the next thing that I'll do is I will almost always, and I mean, and by almost always, I mean always, I will always put this slot corner into a seam flat. The reason why is because let's say that they do something like this to try to glitch out the coverage. This combination right here might be something that they try to do. Watch the slot corner. That jam is what saves this defense. If he doesn't jam, that's a touchdown. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to the same play, and I just want you to stay, hang with me here. Now, again, if you want to get the finished product of this, that is in the defensive ebook. That is in the description uh, below. But this is just shaded coverage over top, and I want you to watch what's going to happen here on this. This is quarters coverage. I just want you to see uh, what's going to happen. So here I'm going to put him on an out route, and I want you to watch triangle. He's not, a, he's not always going to get 100% open, but he's going to get darn near close. And if that's Tyree killing regs, that's a touchdown. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hard left pass lead. Click on. Dot. That's the one thing. That right there is the one issue with match with quarters from trips tight end, in my opinion. How do you solve that? Here's how you solve that. There's two things you can do. Number one, 
Number one, this is why I shade over top and put a seam flat right there. The press, that's all you got to do and watch. I'm going to try to hit it. And I want you to just watch what happens. He jams. And then look, it gives Jair Alexander time to get back on the ball and go make a play. The jam is the the jam is the key. Okay, the jam is the key. I cannot I cannot stress that enough with you guys. You need to jam it. Okay, when you jam it, it's huge. It's it's a huge adjustment. Um, it's a it's a huge adjustment. That right there will save you a bunch of money if you're playing in players' lounge like that. That's huge. Okay. So that's step one. Then step two, we've talked about before. We're going to obviously shift this direction. And then we're going to man up the square guy, the linebacker, on the problem. Now, when they're in trips, I actually like to do a little bit of a different technique. So when they're in trips look, what that what I mean by a trips look, a trips alignment, is this look right here. This is trips, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to man up the backside guy on circle, as you can see right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a hard flat from my defensive end, and then my backside guy, which is the blitzing linebacker on this play, is going into a three-rec hook. And then I'm going to be using right here. Now, that's a great trips defense, right? It's a great trips defense. Okay. What happens when they motion? That's the question. So I'm going to show you a play that is a very popular play that people like to motion. And that is PA counter go. So on this play, I'm going to motion triangle and essentially do this. This is a very popular combination right here. Okay. I'm going to motion triangle. The trick is whenever they motion, whenever they motion, here's the, the only thing you're going to change. You're going to flip the linebackers. So when they go in motion, I'm going to quickly man up the left side outside linebacker onto the guy that is motioned, and I'm going to man up the right outside linebacker, or I'm going to put the right outside linebacker in a bluff blitz every single time. So they motion, it is, and then I just quickly flip it, and you see right there, now we have good defense. And watch, the motion slant is not open. Not open. Not, a, not an opportunity. The reason you want that manned up is that is going to, I'm telling you right now, that is going to save you um, easy, easy open opportunities for people. You know what I mean? They're, they're, this, this adjustment right here is going to help you a lot. So again, if they're in trips, it's flipped. So it looks like that. Okay? It looks like that. Now, if they are in, if they motion out of trips, right? They motion out of trips like this. You need to be quick on the sticks, but you know what you're doing. You've already planned. You've got a plan, right? When you have a plan, it's a lot easier to adjust it. So as soon as they motion anyone on that left side, whether it be circle, triangle, square, I don't care who it is, whoever gets motion from the left side, you are manning him up on the right side. It is 100% guaranteed that that is the adjustment you need to do, and you need to do it from the linebacker that's on the left side. If you do it from the linebacker on the right side, it's not going to be as effective. Okay, I guarantee it. So he's going to motion here. I'm going to man up. And I drop a seam flat too. That's what I do. Right there. Now, you see, and it's harder to do with two controllers. But as you'll see here, everything's taken away. Everything's taken away. Everything's taken away. Okay? Now, the one thing with uh, Trips Tight End, real quick, I do want to hit on this. And I have noticed this. And this has kind of actually made me a little bit sad um, that this is how it works. If you notice here, I can cross man, like in this situation right here, I can cross man circle on anybody that I want, on anybody that I want. Now, I'm not saying that you should, because we know that from trips tied in, let's say that they run a uh, curl flat. If I man up circle onto circle, right, because that's what you would do, watch what's going to happen to uh, Tunyon. Wide open. Wide open dot, and then you're you're frustrated, right? So you need him to, you need to leave him in the outside quarter. Here's a little trick about trips tied in with the motion snapping. And I want you to watch this because this is actually really important. Um, and to, to show this, because I don't have um, 
because that's only me, I'm on both controllers, I want to show this. But anyway, this is with motion. Okay, so we shade inside and over top, and then we put our seam flat out. And again, remember, when we are facing trips, then it's going to look something like this. Now, once they motion, we're going to change it. And I want to I want to hit on something with the motion. So let's say they run PA counter go. There's two different points at which people snap out of trips tight end. The first one is they snap as soon as he passes the tight end. The second one is they snap as soon as he gets to the sideline. Okay, and it's it's different depending on who you're playing and what they're trying to accomplish. Motion snaps are definitely very different depending on the player. So we know that if they motion triangle, and I'm just going to save myself some time here, we know that I'm going to very, very quickly do this. I'm going to man him up. I'm going to drop that, and then I'm going to drop that right there. That's the adjustment. And look how fast I can do that. I can go boom, boom, boom. Okay? And if I if, if and then let's say I want to go the other way, I can go boom, boom, and boom. I'm a little slower on that one. Okay? But the other adjustment, like I'm good. Like he motions him and I go boom, boom, boom. Done. Okay? You gotta know your adjustments. It's really important. But anyways, let's say they motion triangle. I want you to watch what happens if I snap triangle right here behind right behind the tight end i just want you to watch what's going to happen to him snap him right there that motion snap is very popular and it doesn't work against quarters okay let me show you why so if i'm in quarters jump into insta replay here real quick watch what happens here this outside corner because this wide receiver is inside I be, I'm not. I can't 100% prove this, but the the corner treats him like a slot receiver, not an outside threat. So you see, he's going to pass him off. He's going to let him go. And now, as you can see here, the underneath coverages are going to take him. The cross man. That's why I say always, 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 always cross man. Other thing is, you see here. I don't know what my seam flat's doing. Remember, this guy's in a seam flat. Watch that. I don't think I adjusted him. Or no, no, no. Yeah, this is my seam flat. I don't know what he's doing here, but he matches. Good job. Okay, great. Um, but anyway, the point is this cross man right here. Now, if they snap, if they snap this receiver, and I'm going to show you in just a second, if they snap him right here, your only responsibility is the slant. You see, everything else is taken away. Everything. The crossing route is not an issue if they snap him there. The crossing route only becomes an issue, and I want you. This is a big point right here, so hang with me. The crossing route only, only becomes an issue whenever they motion him all the way out. Okay, so PA counter go, and I want you to watch now. So you'll see that this crossing route is going to be wide open if I don't go to it. Okay, so I want you to watch. It might not be wide open, but it's going to be open. Okay, so again, I put I put a seam flat on there, and then again, remember, whenever they motion, I'm going to quickly adjust something. So I'm going to go um, I'm going to go with this on a man up here. I'm going to go with a three rec, and I'm going to go with a seam flat. See, that's what we're going to look like right there. Okay, and now I want you to watch. This is um, this is going to going to make sense whenever I, I snap the ball. But we're going to motion them all the way over here. So I do my adjustments. And I just want you to watch. Now, if he goes to the outside, watch what happens. So he's outside, and I'm not. You don't. You don't have to let him set. But if he does set, watch. He's going to get matched. Watch. He gets matched, and the man cross man is going to take him. But as you can now see, the crossing route, especially if they have route tech, is not as open or is not as covered, because the outside quarter is now going under because of the way the coverage works. Okay, because he's running a vertical route, as you can see. So now we've got that manned up. As you can see, we've got the cross man coming over to bracket that. So the only responsibility that I really have on this play is if you take a look at this crosser. See that? See that safety on the left side? He does absolutely nothing. He does absolutely nothing. He's just for show. Okay? So that's my point. Um, is if they snap the ball outside of the numbers meaning they get that receiver outside of the numbers and they snap it there you're going to defend the crosser if they snap it 
inside the numbers, right after he passes the tight end, you're going to defend the slant. Those are very important rules. Those are very important rules. So when you're building your defense, this is some of the level of detail that you have to understand. So anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get even better defensive strategy and better explanation and breakdown, be sure to hit up my ebook. That link is in the description. It's the best defense in Madden right now. Literally, trips tight in and bunch are very, very ineffective against this defense, in my opinion. So I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. I want to personally invite you to come to our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And last but not least, I just want to quickly remind you, if you want to get a free sample of the ebook, just text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner. And if you want to get a full copy of the best defense in the entire game for just $15, it is in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on tonight's stream.